Good morning everyone, it's The Wanderer and today, uh, for the very first time in my life, I'm actually at Windsor, right behind me. Got the beautiful Windsor Castle, currently closed for tourism right now so I can't go in Windsor Castle, uh, but I was just having a thought. My name's The Wanderer and I've got to do some actual wandering. So today I'm in Windsor with absolutely no idea where my end destination is. I am coming here to eat, but I've got no idea where. Uh, but we're just going to have a little pop around, explore some of the places, because I have to say, in the few minutes I've been here, really beautiful looking place. So I'm sure I'll find something to eat, but first I'm just going to take in some of the sights and some of the scenery um, and just enjoy my day. So if you're into this kind of stuff, guys, don't forget to leave a like if you like it, subscribe if you're new, click the bell to be notified when I upload more content. And with that being said, Windsor, let's make a move. got stopped by uh, two very very friendly police officers nothing wrong I haven't done anything wrong um, but telling me about something of a I was not aware of this something about a changing of the guard at the castle starting in about 15 minutes so I might hang around get a few shots and then resume my journey and they gave me a card if I see anything wrong let them know I will which uh, probably explains why it's ever so slightly busy here so I'm just gonna take a seat while there's one available and uh, catch this event out They went past, you can actually feel it inside your chest, it's actually like quite incredible. So as I say, that was a very um, unexpected portion of the day, I had no idea that was happening. Also you learn a few things, a uh, police officer nearby was saying the museum, right behind me there, I'll just get a shot of that, that's a museum where Prince Charles and Elton John were married. Not to each other, different weddings, <laughs> never mind. I also think I need to spend a whole day here with my proper camera uh, because I absolutely love planes, always have, and the amount of low flyers going over the castle, I can get some wonderful shots with them. So if you like planes as much as I do, get a nice camera with a decent zoom. You don't even really need a decent zoom. I got some brilliant shots on just my phone. So far, really only just a couple of minutes away from the station and having a fantastic time. Still not quite hungry yet, but 
fish and chips seems to be the favourite so far. Do you ever feel like you're being followed? much as I fancy a spoons right now. Mm, not sure, not sure. Right then everyone, so I've pretty much just done a whole lap of Alexandra Gardens and the Windsor Castle. So I've decided on where I'm gonna eat. It's gonna be a chippy, cause why not? It feels so British today, so let's keep it British. We're gonna go fish and chips right behind me. Riverside traditional fish and chips. Let's go order them now. Uh, so can I go for the Cod and chips, uh, regular, and uh, let's see, you got a can of Coke as well? Uh, Pepsi would be fine, yeah. No, no, that'd be fine, thanks. So I've just gone for a Cod and chips with a drink service. I'm gonna give it a straight up five. Gentleman, very, very friendly. Actually asked me what the uh, camera and the tripod and the microphone was about, so if you watch the channel, my friend, Leave a comment down below. Thank you for your uh, interest and hopefully support. So we're just waiting now for the uh, cod and chips. And uh, yeah, really looking forward to this one. I have to say fish and chips isn't what I was expecting when I came out, but all the flags, all of everything, it's, I think it just makes sense. it arrived ordered it at 1208 it did actually arrive at 1220 but I stuck around for a little bit because I forgot to order mushy peas that's my fault it is a five time though because of the fish and chips actually arriving on time let's have a rate on it uh, because it's not wrapped in paper I can actually give it a presentation score let's get your eyes on it first I didn't catch the gentleman's name, but he did say he was going to check out my channel as well. So no, he was a really, really friendly guy. We were just pretty much talking during the whole process of the food being made. Really backs up the five-star service. I think the guy was really, really friendly. We've got, on my opinion, presentation. I mean, it looks really good. It looks really clean in there. The fish is just the perfect size for the container that it's in. Is it branded? It's, no, it's a plain container. I think presentation, I'm going to give it a four. 
because it does, you know, like I say, as far as fish and chips go, look really, really clean. Usually like fish and chips, you'd expect a three because it's usually wrapped up. Most important factor though, coming up. We'll start off with a chip. Looks more of a fry than a chip, but anyway. Okay, really, really good chip, to be fair. Chip really, really good. Mushy pea. I can't believe I forgot to order the mushy peas. Thankfully, my friend back there got them for me as a freebie. Let's see how good these are. Of the few chip shops that I've done so far, these mushy peas, they're right up there. They're um, very, very full, as you can see. Not too mushy, so you've got some full peas in there. I'll try and do what I forgot to do when I did JFC. Chip in the mushy pea. Okay, so far so good. Let's go into the main event. Bit of the fish, just break it up. Ooh, very, very soft. Don't think there's gonna be a lot of, um, don't think there's gonna be a lot of crunch on this one. It does look good though, let's have a look. Mm. Not a lot of crunch on the outside. Fish flavor though, I think really good to be fair. Like. Um, yeah, it's okay. It's some good fish. I've got some tartar sauce to mix in with it, though, of course. Great. That's much improved. Right. I'll finish this, guys. Rate it by the castle and get myself back to Reading. But so far, I think it's off to a really good start. guys so if you're ever in Windsor you've got to come see this guy fantastic fish and chips and thanks you guys you should subscribe this one for thank you very much mate thank you very much no problem, man. have a good day okay everyone so that was Riverside fish and chips really nice we started the vlog at Windsor Castle it only makes sense that we finished the vlog at Windsor Castle so we've got to rate the taste uh, let's see chips top quality chips to be fair I think they were really really high up on the chip scale which I usually do fish fish was good a bit softer than I like. I do prefer a crispier batter, um, to be fair, but you know, it was made literally fresh right in front of me. It didn't hang on the hot plate for long, so that could be a part of it. it doesn't change the fact though that the flavor was was really, really strong, really decent. Mushy peas, tartar sauce, can't beat that. I think taste-wise, I'm gonna give it a very, very strong four, and um, thanks to the fella as well in there for being a decent sport at the end, so thank you as well, mate. I really did, really did enjoy the experience. I think one of the few places where I've actually eaten in the outs, outdoors as well, which really does change the experience of the whole thing. So yeah, full on the taste. I think that gives us a grand total if you combine all the scores that I've made. 18 out of 20 for Riverside Fish and Chips. Very strong score, divide that by two, nine out of 10. All right then guys, so that was Windsor. I need to get back because I've got less than 20% battery on the phone and I got a, my phone is also my train tickets. I have to remember that. So like the video, of course, subscribe if you're new, click the bell to be notified when I upload new stuff on The Wanderer. Until next time, bye for now.